And all of God's people said, amen. say amen again. One time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. There is the account that there was a church that assembled themselves together, had a prayer meeting slash I don't want to be caught meeting. Said that they were in an upper room with the door locked. Some folks say that the Holy Ghost was trying, or some people say the church was trying to break out, but the real account was the Holy Ghost was trying to break in. Found themselves, wasn't nobody singing no hymn, wasn't nobody praying, wasn't nobody doing nothing, but the Bible does account that they were on one accord. When nobody fussing, when nobody calling no names, but they were on one accord. They had one thing in agreement, that they had been with the best man they ever knew. And they had all seen him die. They've seen him buried in a tomb. They were all on one accord that if the outside gets on the inside, we're going to all die just like the master. They were all on one accord. And the Bible says there was a sound like a rushing mighty wind. Is anybody in here that there was a sound, there was a sound, there, there was a sound. People said, shh, do you, do you hear that? Shh, do you, do you hear that? Is somebody knocking on the door? Is somebody outside? Did they come to get us? They were all there. They were all there. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came into the room and everyone was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says it was a day of Pentecost and I stopped by here on my way to heaven to tell you I feel a Pentecost coming up in this church. I feel a move of God coming in this church and don't you sit there and miss the move of God. Don't you sit there and watch the move of God. Don't you sit there and spectate. Is there anybody here that you didn't come to look at everybody else but you came to see the Lord high and lifted up. Is there anybody here that woke up this morning with your mind stayed on Jesus, got dressed with your mind on Jesus, got in your car and drove with your mind on Jesus and you don't care if don't nobody say hi, you don't care if don't nobody hug you, as long as I feel the Lord, I know it's going to be alright. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here that hears the sound of the Holy Ghost. I'm in Acts chapter 2. You can read it for yourself but there's an account of a church that is so hungry for the Lord. They're so hungry for what they've got that they made up in their mind I'm going to stay here until the Lord shows back up. I'm going to stay here until something moves. I'm going to stay here until I feel something I've never felt before but that must not be the church today because some of y'all looking at your watch even right now. Uh, some of y'all can't get to Pentecost because you're always fussing with somebody. But is there anybody in here that your God is too important to fuss with crazy people? <laughs> is there anybody in here that your blessing is too important to deal with silly folk? That your breakthrough is too important to deal with crazy folk? That what you need from the Lord is too important to deal with folk that ain't trying to get anything? Is there anybody here that you got to ignore some folk so that you can see the Lord for yourself? Is is there anybody in here that made up in your mind that I got to get a touch of the hem of his garment? I got to know him for myself. I got to touch him for myself. I can't live off of what mama did. I can't live off of what daddy did. I need my own experience. I need my own I need my own experience. And so they're in the upper room. They're in the upper room. And the Holy Ghost comes in. And he fills the room. And here it is, y'all. Church breaks out. Y'all missed that. Church breaks out. It wasn't on the program, please stand. There wasn't no praise leader saying, please stand. There wasn't no preacher trying to preach them up. When the Holy Ghost came, they had their own sound. They had their own 
own music. They had their own praise. They had their own worship. They didn't need nobody to pump them up. Is there anybody in here that when you hear the voice of the Lord, you can testify, let the redeemed of the Lord say They, they, they broke out, didn't say, didn't say they had no tambourines. It didn't say they had no organs. I believe all they had is some foots. All they had was some tables. And all they had was some hands. Yeah, I said it's some foots. Not no feet. I'm talking about some good country folk. That you know that if you start tapping your foot, you feel a little better. If you start slamming some stuff, you feel a little better. Is there anybody in here where my mother's at that you didn't have a prayer? party huh? while you're washing the dishes huh? just beating some pots and pans huh? if you make some noise huh? is there anybody know huh? the Lord will show up huh? if you make some noise huh? the Lord will enter in huh? if you make some noise huh? the Lord will be where you are uh, the, uh, the, the church it must have been traditional for that church to be a silent sedity church walk with me it must have been traditional for them to get together to meet and to greet and to eat but to do nothing else because the bible says something unique in here it says the sound inside the church made the folks on the outside of the church start looking and get curiosity what is going on in there is there anybody here that understands if you praise God like you're supposed to folks will walk down the street and stop in their tracks and look through the window and find out what's going on in there have, have, have you have you have you ever had one of the moments that you're driving in your car and the music gets so good to you and your worship gets so good to you, and your praise gets so good to you, that you forget where you are, and you start praising the Lord, and you find yourself, people looking at you, wondering what's going on in your car. That's because the praises of God will lure the people that don't know him, because they think you crazy, and they gotta know more about what's going on. If don't nobody ever look in your car, it's because you ain't crazy enough. I'm talking to some of y'all that, that, that y'all got that pretty worship. You, you, you worship God like you worship Luther. Preach up in here, Davis. You, 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 worship, you worship God like you worship Teddy. You in your car just sitting there like this. But I need to talk to some ugly worshipers. Hello, somebody. <laughs> that when you think about the goodness of the Lord, <laughs> and all he's done for you. Your hands fly up some way. When you think about when you were sick and he healed your body, your head got to move some type of way. When you think about the fact you didn't have no money, but God still paid your bills. God still put food on the table. Your head start nodding and your body start rocking. I'm talking to some folk that when you really think about the goodness of the Lord and all he's done for you, you lose control and you lose your dignified self uh, and you find yourself uh, so intense in worship. The, 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 the sound, the sound, the sound inside the church lured the people uh, to the church. They were peeking on the window. They were listening at the door. The people on the outside, the drunks, the alcoholics, the gamblers, whatever they are, the cheaters, the whoremongers. Did I leave somebody out? The gossipers, whoever it was. They were listening at the door. That ain't the same worship experience that they had last week. That ain't the same way they was praising them last week. Something's going on. They're listening at the door. They're looking in the window. And the Bible says that it got so full in there that they had to open up the door and come out 
out. Let me help you out. If you ever worship like you're supposed to worship, you won't want to stay up in here. It'll make you go out there. If you ever got close enough, you won't want to stay in here. It'll push you out. Maybe, maybe I'm at the wrong church. Maybe I'm supposed to preach this message on the road. Y'all, y'all act like I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all act like y'all don't understand. Listen, 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 listen. It gets so good in here. And it gets so full in here that we want to run out there and tell everybody what happened in here. The problem with some of y'all is you didn't got so good at spectating that you never want to run out there to tell folks to come in here to feel what you felt. Let me, let me see if I can help y'all out. Some of y'all treat God like y'all treat the movies. <sighs> Reverend, I, I wish we had a concession stand so I could get me some popcorn and get me a beverage. I wish I could get me some hot tamales and some lemon heads. I wish I could get me a hamburger or a hot dog and some nachos because I didn't come here to participate. I came here to sit down and to see the show that's up on the screen. Well, let me help you out. The show on the screens will never change the situation you live in. The only way to change the situation you live in is to move yourself from spectator to participator. The only way to change your circumstance is to move from eating popcorn to put it on the floor and get so intense in this that if I sweat you feel it. If the Lord moves, you feel it. The only way to get something out of it is that you got to put something. The sound, the sound, the sound lured them. The sound lured them. The sound, the sound of good worship lured them. The sound of good praise lured them. It bothers me when I sit in my seat and I see folk who can walk past the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church while we're in church and not even stop. It bothers me. It lets me know we're not worshiping him from the front door to the back door because if we were, curiosity would get the best of it. Well, let me, let, me, let me help y'all out. Let me help y'all out. Some of y'all looking at me like y'all don't understand. You do know some of y'all are nosy. Preach up in here. I need some participation. I'm going to help some of y'all worship God a little bit better. I need you to raise your hand with me. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Just listen to my questions. If you've ever been guilty of this, you are in your house watching TV, doing your own business, and you heard the sirens come down the street, and they stopped in your neighborhood. Is there anybody in here that's ever got up out of their comfortable chair and ran to a window and looked and peeked through the blinds? Is there anybody in here ever walked to the door, opened up your door and looked out your screen door. Is there anybody in here that ever walked out on your porch and went down to the sidewalk and looked down the street? You see, you just nosy. That's just good human nature. Well, there ought to be a sound in here that sounds like an alarm that makes somebody peek through their window, make somebody walk to their door, make somebody walk to the sidewalk and look down there and say what is going on down there Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all should have sent me on vacation this week. Huh? The problem I got is huh, you up in here and you hear the sirens huh, and you won't look. Huh? But you would do the same thing at your own neighborhood. Huh? God has been better than that person. Huh? Let me help you out. Huh? The police usually show up huh, after the crime already happened. Huh? EMS shows up huh, after they already got sick. Huh? But you got a savior huh, that'll show up before the crime. Huh? Show up during the 
the crime and be there after the crime. You got a doctor that shows up before you get sick. Hold your hand while you're sick and get you back to health. Is there anybody here that know you ought to worship him? I'm about to get up out of here. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all wasn't ready for me today. I woke up about five o'clock ready to preach. Uh -huh. I've been preaching at my bed all morning long. I've been preaching to the walls all morning long. I told the ceiling fan how good the Lord is. I told the sheets how good the Lord is. I told the mattress how good the Lord is. I'm not just here. I started working on this the moment my eyes opened up. I said, thank you. I can see another day. The moment I moved from my bed, thank you. I had the activity of my life. Uh, uh, anybody ready to praise him? Uh, anybody ready to go a little bit higher? Uh, the word says uh, they got so full of the Holy Ghost uh, that they got out there uh, and they were speaking uh, with other tongues. Uh, let me teach for a moment uh, before I get my shout on. Uh, it didn't say uh, that they was using uncloven tongues. Uh, wouldn't nobody understand that. Uh, but they were speaking with other tongues, uh, which lets me know uh, when they got to the street, uh, the whoremonger heard the word uh, in whoremonger language. Uh, the liar heard the word uh, in liar language. Uh, the gambler heard the word uh, in gambler word. Uh, is there anybody understand? Uh, the crack had heard the word uh, in crackhead language. Uh, they weren't pontificating. Uh, they were sharing the gospel uh, in everybody's language. Hey, y'all. Uh, y'all. For y'all good folk uh, that try to leave here uh, and always trying to show folk uh, how educated you are, uh, trying to show folk uh, how churchy you are, uh, talking about you're saved, sanctified, uh, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, crackhead fair don't know that. Uh, he don't know what saved, sanctified, uh, and filled with the Holy Ghost is. Uh, but if you tell crackhead Fred uh, that the Lord loves him, uh, if you tell crackhead Fred uh, that the Lord is calling him, if you tell crackhead Fred uh, that the door is still open, uh, if you tell crackhead Fred uh, that your name won't always be crackhead, uh, he'll understand that. Uh, he'll get that uh, and he'll come running. They, they left out. I'm trying to hold it together, but I feel my running coming on. They left out of there. <laughs> full with the Holy Ghost had to go tell somebody empowered with the Holy Ghost they didn't walk out there scared they didn't walk out there intimidated but I heard Big Mama say the joy of the Lord is my strength I heard Big Mama say I put on the Lord Jesus early in the morning because I didn't know what I was going to come into contact with but I knew this I had on the full armor of God is there anybody here that understand uh, you leave here uh, ready, uh, powered, uh, and excited uh, to share uh, the good news. Y'all still here? Y'all sleep on me? Y'all still here? Still here? I'm, I'm, I'm still in the text. I'm still in, still in Acts chapter 2. I'm still in Acts chapter 2. Not only was they filled, not only did they leave, not only was they speaking other languages, but here's the good news. Y'all ready for this? When the church left the building and spoke to the people on their level, the people asked, what must I do to be saved? Y'all missed that. Let me talk to some of y'all over here. When the church left the building and went to where they came from and spoke the language to the folk that were still there, the folks that were there said, what can I do to change? Y'all didn't get it. Let me talk to y'all. When the church took off their three-piece suits and their long white dresses and their big old hats and went to talk to the 
people and talk to the people where they were the people where they were put down the alcohol bottles they were still drunk but they said what can I do to be saved y'all didn't get it let me try y'all when the church dropped their titles were no deacons were no preachers were no missionary were no ushers they was just Billy Fred Johnny Bobby Ricky and Mike when they went down to the streets and started talking to folks in the streets in their language the folks on the street said if they can change you can he change me that's what the church needs we gotta get up from out of our comfortable seats and go where they are and preach the good news that Jesus saves Jesus saves Jesus saves I, I feel I feel a Pentecost about to break out at the New Hope Church where we quit coming here being all pretty but we leave here with our war cry I'm not going to sneak up on nobody I don't need no double agents I need some folks who are bold in the word of God who are bold in their faith who are bold in their resolve that God will God can and God will what will he do reverend he'll open blinded eyes he'll make the lame walk he'll raise the dead what will God do he'll heal the sick he'll feed the hungry he'll clothe the naked what will God do he'll put a roof over the homeless what will God do he'll take the taste of crack out their mouth what will my God do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask for what will he do he'll change it he'll change it Oh 